Okay. Uh, uh, we'll pick this up from where we left it last time. Uh, for most motion that we deal with in our everyday experiences, these are the forces we deal with. There is what we call the normal force, the contact force between any two objects. Whenever two forces touch, there is a normal force between them. And the word normal means perpendicular. It is normal to the surface, perpendicular to the surface. Now, uh, the other force that we deal with uh, in our everyday experiences is what we call the weight or sometimes the gravitational force. Uh, now, the gravitational force is proportional to the mass of the object and the gravitational field at that point. Notice the way I call it gravitational field, not just acceleration, because a standing steel object is going to still feel the gravitational pull of the Earth. Now, uh, let me try to repeat that. If I have a table, I place an object on it, that object still has a weight, even though it's not moving. So that small g cannot be referring to just acceleration, acceleration due to gravity. It is really a measure of how strong the gravitational effects at that point, and the term that we use for it is gravitational field. Now friction, whenever two objects, the two surfaces are against each other, they are going to experience friction. And that's, it's a little bit trickier than what most of us think. We'll talk m more about it in detail in a little bit. Uh, and then the tension is whatever force is exerted through a string, like when you pull something with a rope or a string, the tension in that string or cord or whatever you want to call it is what we call tension. The force along that rope is what we call the tension. OK, 